right, we're going to look at a couple things today. We're going to look at uh, Easy Drummer 2, and we're going to be able to uh, open up Easy Drummer 2 in Studio One version 4. We're going to look at specifically how we can set up uh, multi outputs and uh, get the MIDI coming out of Easy Drummer 2 instrument into multiple uh, tracks and outputs within the DAW. How we're going to get that set up in our DAW here in Studio One 4. And for us to do that, we just need to click on T in Studio One 4. And we're just going to add drums. There we go. We're going to change the type to instrument. Okay, we're going to leave it at one right now. And I always put my color on drums. I use red. And okay, so default instrument. Okay, so I'll use that for inputs. And we're going to grab easy drummer. Easy. Just like it says, easy. Okay. So there, we've got uh, Easy Drummer set up. It's uh, set to record already. Uh, when we look, when we expand our track here, our MIDI instrument output is Easy Drummer. We're getting the input from a MIDI off of any input, but I can specify if I want the Atom. So first thing, uh, let's open up Easy Drummer. Just got to click on the instrument. There we go. Okay, and I just got a default kit loaded here. We go boom 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 all right now what we're going to do is click on mixer up at the top okay so we click on mixer and here are the instruments kick snare hi-hat toms overheads ambience uh, you could use say that's a room mic uh, we've got a couple of effects here. We've got compression, reverb. Uh, those are these two right here, reverb, compression. Now, if you look here, every single one of these instruments uh, or drum heads or drum hits or whatever you want to call it is set to output one, okay? It's channel one out of Easy Drummer 2. And that's why we only have one track uh, showing in our DAW as well. So if I just click the arrow and I can do a couple things here. I can just hit multi-channel, okay? And then it's going to automatically just assign all of these channels a different output. Or I can start to specify specifically which ones I want to go where. So if I want kick to go to one, I'll leave that. If I want the snare to go to two, I would select that. Hi-hats to three. Toms will put to four. Overheads will use five. And trash mic will use six. Okay, and then the rest of that we're going to leave alone because we'll use our own compression and reverb um, in the DAW. Uh, okay, so we've done that. So what the other thing I mentioned you could do is multi-channel. So you could just hit this and just hit multi-channel. And you could see it automatically just rode all of these outputs for you. Okay, all the way up to 14 on this particular kit. Some of the different kits that are in here. I've got Metal Machine in here. If I use that, it's going to load up 16 different outputs. So it's uh, routed all of those things for us there, and that's fine. We can leave it the way it is, one, two, four, five, six. But I kind of like to have things in a row when I grab those. So I'll just change that these last ones here. I'll bump them down okay, so that they're set up for us nicely. And the rest of those I'll leave alone because they're not going to get in our way later anyway. Okay, so I've got the output set up. Okay, now if I do this, we can see here on our track, we're not getting any input signal. Well, that's because we have the snare on output two. So now what we need to do is go to our DAW in the instrument section, expand, we're gonna click expand, and then we're gonna start adding our outputs. So Easy Drummer 1, that's output 1 from Easy Drummer, which is our kick, okay? We're going to add 2, that's a snare, hi-hat, toms, overhead, percussive ambience, or room mic, trash mic, okay? So we've got our drums here. 
and I like to have them all the same color. Okay, so I'm going to color these all the same. There we go. Now we're good. Okay, we're showing that. Okay, great. So now that we've got all of these things set up here, um, you know what? I always add a VU. Okay, just grab the stock Personas one. And then I always add the mix tool. Okay. So mix tool is going to allow us to adjust the gain on that if we see that our VU meter is hot and put the mix tool at the front so that when we make our adjustment in the gain if we need to it's going to show and in, in the uh, VU meter window here okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select again control click control shift hold it down and then click the last one grab the insert and it's going to grab all of these inserts and pull them over into here. Okay. So I'm going to pull that up there and control shift and expand all the view meters. There we go. Okay, so now we can grab Easy Drummer, click on that. Okay, and let's double check to make sure we've got all of these happening. Kick. There we go, snare. Ah, see, snare's coming out channel two, and it's also showing in our overheads and our room mic. Hi-hats on three. Toms on four. Overhead. And room mic, excellent. So that is how you use Easy Drummer 2 in Studio One version four as a MIDI instrument and you can program all the different outputs within Easy, Drum Easy Drummer 2 to come into their own tracks on your DAW. Thanks for watching today, uh, thanks for subscribing and if you're not subscribed uh, just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified anytime we load any of these things up. So again thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned and keep making music.